हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन इंग्लिश क्लास आई एम प्रियंका सिंह लेक्चरर इंग्लिश गवर्नमेंट गर्ल्स इंटर कॉलेज बांदा टुडे वी विल डिस्कस क्लास ट्वेल्थ सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश प्रोच लेसन सिक्स वुमेन्स एजुकेशन पार्ट वन अपॉन टू रिटर्न बाय डॉक्टर सर्वपल्ली राधा कृष्णन चिल्ड्रेन लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द पॉइंट्स ऑफ द लेसन आवर फर्स्ट पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन विल बी प्रेजेंट डे कंडीशन ऑफ वीमेन एंड रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ सोसाइटी इन दिस पॉइंट वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज द कंडीशन ऑफ वीमेन एट प्रेजेंट टाइम एंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ वीमेन डज द सोसाइटी नीड इन आवर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट वी विल डिस्कस द काइंड ऑफ एजुकेशन नेक्स्ट पॉइंट विल बी पर्पज ऑफ एजुकेशन आवर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन विल बी द रिलेवेंस ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड द लास्ट पॉइंट ऑफ टूडेज टॉपिक विल बी द डिस्टिंगटिव क्वालिटी ऑफ वीमेन दैट इज कंपेरिजन स्टूडेंट्स इन एंसियंट टाइम्स वीमेन वर कंसिडर्ड विद रिस्पेक्ट एंड डिग्निटी आई थिंक you have already heard about the learned ladies of our country as apala ghosha gargi lopamudra maitreyi and others but gradually with the course of time the position of women declined to such an extent that the birth of the girl child within the family was regarded as a misfortune now student you must know the importance of women education at the present time so today we will discuss about women education now before i start the lesson i will ask some questions based on your previous knowledge my first question is what do we get from our colleges and schools yes we get education from our colleges and schools my next question is what is the purpose of education yes the main purpose of education is to enlighten us and our society my next question to whom is more needed to enlighten in our society yes very good women and girls are more needed to enlighten in our society my next question is what are the opportunities available to women so dear students today we will discuss about the lesson women's education written by dr s radha krishnan students before we start with the lesson let us know something about the author the author of this lesson is dr sarupalli radhakrishnan dr sarupalli radhakrishnan was born in the year 1888 he was an educationist philosopher and statesman philosopher means thinker and statesman a reputed political leader he was appointed as the professor of philosophy at mysore and calcutta universities students he became an indian ambassador to ussr he was the first vice president and the second president of india the time period of his presidency was from 1962 to 1967 he was also awarded bharat ratna in 1954 bharat ratna is the highest civilian award of india his birthday is celebrated in india as teachers day on 5 september every year we all are very familiar with this function teachers day and some of his famous books are indian philosophy hindu view of life and philosophy of upanishad students 
before we start with the detailed study of the lesson let me tell you about the lesson in brief dr radha krishnan was a visionary writer so he advocated the necessity of education for women the lesson women's education lays emphasis on the need of women education in india the chief aim of education according to dr s radhakrishnan should be to make indian women act nobly with high thinking real education goes beyond the material world and helps men and women to understand the unknown mysteries of this life and life after wards it instills in a man the qualities of concentration self control and moral strength students let's start with the paragraph 1 dr radha krishnan tells you are living in an age when there are great opportunities opportunities means chances for women in social work public life and administration society requires requires means needs women of disciplined disciplined means orderly minds and restrained manners restrained means controlled and manners means behavior so restrained manners means controlled behavior whatever line of work you undertake you should bring to it an honest disciplined mind you will then succeed and have the joy of your work in these lines the writer dr sarupalli radha krishnan lays emphasis on the need of education for women in india he is talking about the kind of education which is required for women the writer makes it clear that we are now living in an age which is much different from the previous ones there were times when women were kept confined within the four walls of their houses but now women are free to come out of their houses and work in different fields of life they have a lot of opportunities in these fields they are fit to work in political arena they can find good position in the field of administration students as you can see at the picture these are some great indian women who are very famous in their particular fields the first picture is of kiran bedi the first lady ips of india the second picture is of lata mangeshkar who is known as swar kokila of india the third picture is of indira noi the famous business women icon the fourth picture is of mary com the famous boxer of india and the latest example of women empowerment is shivangi singh the first woman fighter pilot of rafale so students they have a lot of opportunities in every fields of society but they should have disciplined mind and controlled manners according to radha krishnan women should be controlled and disciplined they should be honest in their dealing if they take such steps they will get success in their work besides they will get joy in the work overall the writer radha krishnan wants that women should be disciplined and mannered now students i will ask some questions based on the paragraph my first question is what are the opportunities for women at present time yes definitely there are great opportunities for women in social 
public life and administration my second question is what kind of women does the society need now yes women of disciplined minds and restrained manners my third question is what kind of education should be imparted so in next paragraph we will discuss about the kind of education according to dr s radha krishnan and actually in our country education so far as girls education is concerned is not widespread enough widespread means extensive so every institution which contributes to the education of girls is worthy of recognition recognition means approval and encouragement but i am anxious that the kind of education that is imparted imparted means given must not only be broad but should also be deep we are lacking in depth depth means deep so dr radha krishnan was in favor of giving good education to women the writer tells us about education particularly about girls education in our country the girls education is not widespread so we should encourage every institution which contributes in spreading the girls education there are many institutions which are doing their best to improve the condition of women their education must be broad and deep in these lines dr sarupalli radhakrishnan describes the types of education he wants there are two essentials of good education education should be broad as well as should be deep no doubt the education given in our schools and colleges is very wide but it is lacking in depth we should not be satisfied only with learning and skill all possible encouragement should be given to girls education in the country now students i will ask some questions based on the paragraph my first question is what is the condition of girls education in our country yes it is not widespread enough next question what should be the main purpose of educational system of our country we will discuss the main purpose of education in the next paragraph now come to the third paragraph we may become learned and skilled but if we do not have some kind of purpose purpose means aim in our life our lives themselves become blind blundering and bitter blundering means full of serious mistakes the geeta says vyavsayatmika buddhire eke for a truly cultured mind there is a single mindedness a dedication to a single purpose single mindedness means concentration of mind at one point and dedication means full devotion for the uncultured mind the whole life is scattered in many direction bahu sakha hanantash therefore it is essential that the education which you acquire acquire means to gain these institutions should give you not merely learning and skill but indo indo means equip you with the definite purpose in life what that purpose is you have to define for yourselves the writer feels 
that our education is lacking in objective or goal. We may become learned and skilled, but if we do not have some kind of purpose in our life, our lives may become aimless and bitter. We should understand the purpose of our life. Without knowing the purpose, we shall be misguided. We shall do mistakes and our life will be painful. As a phrase is taken from the Bhagavad Gita in this lesson. Vyavasayatmika buddhire ke kurunandan bahushakha henantash buddhiyo vyavasai naam means those who are on this path are resolute in purpose and their aim is one means vyavasayatmika buddhire ke aim is one O beloved child of the kurus the intelligence of those who are irresolute is many branched. Bahusakha henantast means multiplicity of purpose. So, Dr. Radha Krishnan says to avoid bitterness and aimlessness in our life, it is essential that education which we gain in the schools and colleges should serve at least two purposes besides other ones. First, it should add to our knowledge and dexterity. Second, it should provide us with a clearly defined purpose in life. Our efforts may be in direction of achieving some purpose or the other as regards the purpose we have to outline it ourselves depending upon our needs. It is the duty of the students to decide what purpose he has to evolve for his life. It is the learning which counts as it is the sole thing which stops us doing any wrong thing. Now I will ask some questions based on this paragraph. My first question is how will our life be become blind, blundering and bitter? Yes, without some kind of purposes, our life will become blind, blundering and bitter. My second question is, differentiate between cultured and uncultured mind. Yes, cultured mind is single mindedness and uncultured mind is scattered in many directions. My next question, what is the relevance of above thoughts? So, in next paragraph, we will discuss about the relevance of education according to Dr. S. Radha Krishnan. Now students, come to the fourth paragraph of this lesson. It is said that Vidya gives you Vivek. Vimars Rupani Vidya gives you a sense of what is right and helps you to avoid what is wrong. Vimars Rupani Vidya means analytical knowledge which differentiate between right and wrong. You must try therefore to find out what is required. Required means desired of you in this generation. A purpose. Purpose means aim. A purpose which held good centuries ago may not hold good today in view of the rapidly. Rapidly means very fast changing conditions of our country and of the world. So, the purpose which you adopt in your life must be adapted to the relevant. Relevant means connected with the subject, needs of the present generation. Here the writer says that the real aim of education is to have a definite purpose in life. Education helps us in it by enabling us to decide what is right and what is wrong 
as Vimars Rupini Vidya. The writer tells us that knowledge gives us wisdom and enables us to differentiate between right and wrong. He advises us to find out the need of the present generation. The world is very wide and rapidly changing because change is the law of nature and it is a continuous process. There may be many things which were useful for our forefathers some centuries ago, but they are no more useful in the new circumstances of present days. So the purpose of life also changes in the changed conditions. One particular purpose cannot hold good at all time. So it is our duty to decide a purpose of life carefully, keeping in view the needs of the present generation. Education helps us a lot in this matter. Now students, I will ask some questions based on the paragraph. My first question is, who gives you Vivek? Yes, Vidya gives you Vivek. My second question is, which type of purpose you should adopt? Yes, the purpose should be adopted to the relevant needs of the present time. My next question is, what particular quality distinguishes men from women? In next paragraph, we will discuss the natural quality of women according to Dr. S. Radha Krishnan. So, come to the next paragraph of this lesson. Compassion means daya is the quality which is more characteristic of women than of men. Compassion means kindness, daya, mercy. I read recently a book which speaks about the decline, decline means decay of womanhood and says that this is so because there is a decline in compassion. In other words, the natural quality of women is compassion. If you do not have compassion, you are not human. It is therefore essential, essential means necessary for every human being to develop the quality of considerateness. Considerateness means sympathetic concern for the feelings of others, kindness and compassion. Without these qualities, we are only human animals, nar pashu, not more than that. So, Dr. Radha Krishnan says that compassion or kindness is the natural quality of human being. As we all know about it, it is of greater importance in women. In fact, it is compassion which differentiate man from animal. The writer feels sad to read in an article in a book that the women are losing the natural qualities of their womanhood. The reason for this loss is their losing compassion. The natural virtue of women is compassion. They cannot claim to be women if they lose the quality of compassion. We should be considerate of joys and sorrows of our fellow beings. Pity, sympathy and considerateness make a man civilized. In case we lack in these virtues, we cannot claim to be human beings. We will be man plus animal. In other words, we will have the body of man but the thinking of an animal. So students, now I will ask some questions to you. First question, what is the natural quality of women? Yes. Compassion 
or pity is the natural quality of women my next question what is the region of declination of womanhood because there is a decline in the quality of compassion my next question what is essential for every human being to become human kindness pity and sympathy are essential qualities to become human now students we will stop here but let me summarize all the things that we have studied today the writer radha krishnan advocated the necessity of women's education in india in present time the opportunities for women are in social work public life and administration according to radha krishnan education must not only be broad but should also be deep dr s radha krishnan recommends an education with the definite purpose we should understand the purpose of our life compassion pity is the natural quality of women without compassion we are only human animals so students i want you to read the whole lesson very well so that you can understand the lesson today we learned about the present day condition of women and requirement of society the kind of education the purpose of education the relevance of education and the distinctive quality of women that is compassion students now i will give you some questions for your home assignment my first question for your home assignment is what are the opportunities available to women in our society next question for home assignment is what kind of women does the society need now next question which particular quality distinguishes men from women and the last question what kind of education does dr radha krishnan recommend students i am also giving you a long question this long question has nothing to do with this lesson it is totally based on your own thoughts so write down in your notebook write an article in 200 words based on your own thoughts on the topic importance of education for women it is the long question for your home assignments so students today we have studied class 12th subject english prose lesson 6 women education topic women's education part 1 upon 2 in our next video we will discuss about the next part of this lesson women's education part 2 upon 2 to understand the lesson thoroughly come to the class after reading the lesson very well thank you students